And welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen. This is once again your man Bob Mob, aka Doc Wildcard. Welcome you back to Doki Doki New Eyes, seen through the eyes of the best girl, Yori. Why is he scared of disappointing me? Can't be because because he's afraid of my opinion, right? Or is it because he actually wants to impress me? Now oh, that's... That's just stupid. Why is that stupid? Doesn't make any sense to say. You try to impress Natsuki, right? Now you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? I nervously play with my hair. Of course. This is how he sees me. I'm not a know it all or someone who would purposely be mean to someone else. This, this is nothing but pure speculation. We've barely spoken after all. That must be terrible. Eh? For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me. Oh, for you know you I feel sorry for her. She's always beating herself up for no reason. Yori. It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. Right, exactly. It's just meant that I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I'm just... A little too used to it. Overthinking? Oh, Being disliked. No one deserves that. My eyes suddenly widen. This isn't what we're supposed to be talking about. I don't dare look at Victor's face. Probably just sound miserable. I have friends here. I don't need more, right? Hey, there's nothing wrong with having more friends. In fact, it's a good thing to have multiple friends. What I said I was, what I said wasn't true. No, no, it wasn't. Hey, what the? Not this again. Going to say, not used to being disliked. I got cut off. I was moving faster. I wonder why that was. Yori. What? What am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Luckily, Victor doesn't look too bothered. He quickly changed the subject. I'm relieved. I don't know if he's doing this for me, but I'm grateful. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. I ended my poem, crossed my fingers with my free hand. Suki's poem dealt with the same subject, so we'll probably prefer it. But I know he's going to have an objective look at it. At least, I hope so.
I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about. No, it's not. It's perfectly fine. I did my best to make the metaphorical approach to it. You say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh. Natsuki hasn't told him that, but it was a very agreement then. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I... Well... It was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So, Natsuki wanted to us to write about the same topic as each other again. I see. His reaction is awfully mundane. It's like he doesn't really care in the end. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Like saying that is it? He hasn't really said anything about the poem itself. I suppose I better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she wanted to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. Oh. Why is she saying this here? This doesn't even make sense. can't just talk about Natsuki like that. But something just compels me to try and justify myself. I don't want to venture... Why would anyone hate someone just for using the same topic in, in anything? It just doesn't make sense. But I don't want Natsuki to hate me either. It's hard to please everyone. Well, that much is true, unfortunately. True is Spandau Ballet. Which, in case you forgot, ladies and gentlemen, I, whenever I say that, it's a reference to this 1983 song by a band called Spandau Ballet that pays tribute to Motel legend Marvin Gaye. It's called True, the song. It's too hard. But... Well, I suppose it's not so bad to worry about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to write, for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah. I think I agree. Thanks for sh <laughs> Thanks for sharing. I haven't really talked about my poem in the end. I guess I'm not really the most... Aww. No one should ever feel this way about themselves. That's what I'm saying about it. In the original game and in this, people often, all too often, like, come down on themselves. It shouldn't be like that in real life. I should have acted more outgoing, maybe. Like, like that Suki? But I'm not like her. I can't change myself just for his sake. And indeed, no one ever should change themselves for anyone's sake. They, everyone should just be themselves. I know that seems cliche and everything, but it's the truth. Or, can I? Shake my head. 
This is wrong. I want the best friend at Suki, period. So you're sitting at the table, waiting for the poems here. Session's finished. For the first time this week, I'm the one who approaches her to share my poem. Natsuki? Hmm? You're supposed to share poems, you know. Oh, yes, of course, that's right. We'll say she doesn't really want to share her poem. So something happened between her and Victor? This is none of my business after all. Really smiles, Natsuki. I'm sure you've written something interesting. Not sure if that's supposed to be interesting or impressive. I don't think English is the first language of uh, whoever wrote this. I think they might be Russian because uh, they call themselves Saika, which is a Russian word. Can I read it? Of course. Let's see here. Why do they make it so tiny here? Your mind is full of... Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, I think. Yeah. This was written for Victor. That's why she's blushing. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Her poem is considerably longer than usual, and something about it feels different. Like she wrote with some real feelings behind it. I say their take on this is a cliche subject is really great. This is good, Natsuki. I really liked it. Said so. Oh, jeez. Classic Datsuki. I'm glad you did. She doesn't say much more. After a few seconds of silence, she holds out her hand for me to give the poem back. Yari doesn't seem to recognize that it was written for Victor. Curious. Hand in my poem. <laughs> Casey squinting her eyes. <sighs> Again, classic Datsuki. After a few minutes of reading, she finally puts it on the desk. Mm, yeah, it's good. I think you did well. It's impressive. How many times has he got blush in this one scene? Jeez. Tell me, what did Victor think about it? Why does that matter? Just, do you say anything about it? Interactions have been a little awkward to say the least. For a second, I swear I saw Natsuki sighing relief. I grab my poem on my desk and I stand up. Well, thank you for sharing. She nods at me and I suddenly walk back to my chair. Just why does she have to talk about him at this instant? We're supposed to be sharing our work. We wrote about the subject because we wanted to see how each of us would interpret it, right? 
We barely exchange our opinions. It's just frustrating. Maybe she's just in a bad mood today. She often was in the first game. <laughs> just felt like saying that. Yeah, that must be it. Look around the room. Looks like Marcus thumb clicked you. Last subject is walking towards Sayori, palm in hand. Just like he did with me, he hands her the palm without a word. As I look at the other side of the room, I see Mark and Natsuki chatting. I decide to approach them. Hopefully I'll be able to join in the conversation. I'm not too sure how to feel. I don't want to talk about it with Yuri either. How come? I'm, I'm sure she'd be glad to help you. No, she wouldn't. I've seen the way she will see him, you know? She's often staring. Just what are they talking about? Don't tell me. You should be more comfortable. You should be more considerate, Natsuki. I understand that you would like to get close to Victor, but keep in mind you've always been there for you. I. I've got circumstances. I really can't explain what it's about, but I promise you, you're very important to me. However, I... Listen, I just can't tell you. I slowly turn around and quietly go back to my chair. However, as I do so, my hip hop... Ooh, jeez, that hurts. Two of them instantly knows me. Y Yuri! Have you have to hear what we said? Oh, uh, just... Just a little bit of it. I guess. Then do you know about the circumstances that Suki was talking about? Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I just find it funny whenever she makes that face. Hey! Don't talk about it so nonchalantly! Circumstances? I haven't really heard anything about this. What's wrong, Natsuki? Listen, this has nothing to do with you two, okay? All right. Let's just get this poem session done for today. She sounds us to go away. How oh, mean. I can't put my finger on what Natsuki's problem is, and it seems like Monica's having trouble with it, too. She has a complex expression on her face. Aren't you a little worried about her? Oh, not really. I think I already know what's going to happen, so I'm not too worried. You know what's going to happen? Haha, <laughs> I think I do. But let's not things. Let's have, but let's let things happen naturally, all right? She glances at Victor, walking back to us with a confused expression. It takes a few seconds for me to notice that Suki isn't in the room anymore. Just where did she go? Without skipping a beat, Mark immediately gets ready for our next club activities. Seems like our conversation is over then. And on that note, I'm going to have this part of the game over. 
If you dig what I'm doing, ladies and gentlemen, please consider subscribing. I always sub back and fare thee well.